was to break the South Carolina record, which was the East Coast Hockey League record, which was over averaging about 9,140 some odd fans per game. <laughs> Get you going when you see 11,000 screaming fans doing the chomp every night. You know, I, I went to a boxing match and a hockey game broke out. Fans at McEwen. Fans does a couple of us. Here comes McEwen. Punch for punch. McEwen throwing left. I don't think in any time before have I ever been involved in anything that intense or that exciting. Oh, in Handy with a chance to win it all. Here he comes. Handy up the middle over the blue line. Looking at Richards to the back end. He scores! He scores! The ice skaters win the South Division title! Louisiana ice skaters, hockey in Louisiana. Who would have thought it would have been such an unbelievable success story? My name is T.D. Smith and I'll be your host. And in the next few minutes, we'll look back at how it all began, how the ice skater story is really more fairy tale than it is typical sports story. We'll talk to the owners, the staff, and even some of the players and look back on this unbelievable season. But first, let's take a look at how it all began. Once upon a time in deep south Louisiana, there lived an alligator named Alphonse. But Alphonse wasn't very happy in Louisiana. Though he was able to find temporary relief in the cool swamp water, he hated the heat. While all his gator friends were enjoying those hot days sunning themselves on rocks and logs, Alphonse was in constant search of a nice shade tree or the cool deep waters of a crawfish basin. Every day, Alphonse would read of a wonderful place where it was always cool and where a fun-loving gator like himself could find plenty of ice to keep comfortable. This place was called Nova Scotia, but Alphonse could only dream of ever going there because it was so far away. Alphonse loved to read about Nova Scotia, and he even read of new ways to entertain himself through games on the ice. One of them was hockey. How he would love to glide across the smooth, clear ice with stick in hand, scoring goal after goal, and then resting his belly on the cool ice after each game. Oh, the thought of hockey made him chomp with delight. But then he would realize that this could never happen in the hazy swamp he called home. One day, Alphonse read that some people were making ice in Lafayette for a hockey team. He couldn't believe that his dream was finally coming true. Alphonse didn't think twice. He packed his little bag and he headed for Lafayette. When he got there, he couldn't believe his eyes. He now had his own frozen swamp. But this made a lot of people jealous. It seems like some wanted a piece of his frozen paradise. So Alphonse called up all his gator friends to help him defend the swamp from invaders. And invaders there were. Blizzard kings, tiger sharks, and many more. But since the ice skaters joined him, there's no need to worry anymore. And Alphonse is now a very happy gator in his new home called Cajun Dome. Circumstances brought my brother down to Charleston, South Carolina many, many years ago. He was a tennis professional in Canada. And then I ended up actually transferring within a big corporation, Xerox, uh, to North Carolina and then down to South Carolina. And while we were down there, a, an old friend of mine was a fellow named Frank Milne who had brought hockey to Charleston, South Carolina. And everybody at that time thought he was crazy because Charleston's a very uh, 
a traditional southern town, you know, very much a tourism town, and nobody thought hockey would really ever have a chance in a place like Charleston. But uh, lo and behold, uh, they averaged over 9,100 their first year uh, in a brand new facility over there. We uh, saw the opportunity and there were really, we just started looking at potential markets and uh, saw Lafayette, Louisiana as having a beautiful facility, the Cajun Dome, and then more and more we saw a desirable market over here. But the idea of a hockey team in South Louisiana didn't appeal to everyone. In fact, one of the major partners, Ernie Parker, was reluctant when approached with the idea. My first thought was that uh, it was kind of far-fetched. Um, especially when they were talking about having a hockey team uh, this past season. I mean, the first time it was brought to my attention was in probably April of last year, the first part of April. So I didn't think it was a real possibility, but as things unraveled, every day brought on a new set of facts that uh, more and more I became impressed with. After a difficult search for willing investors, the Berryman's efforts proved fruitful. In March of 1995, it became official that Lafayette, Louisiana was to enter the East Coast Hockey League for the 1995-96 season. But although the Cajun Dome is a beautiful facility, it wasn't ready in any way to meet the demands of a professional hockey game. Major renovations had to be made to the building to house the Louisiana Ice Skaters. The entire floor of the Cajun Dome had to be torn up. Uh, all the concrete had to be removed. And then the cooling coils <clears throat> were run underneath uh, where the concrete previously existed. Um, and they had to be all hooked together, and it's, uh, as I recall, it's like eight miles of cooling coal that are intertwined underneath the floor. And then all the concrete had to be re-poured and everything hooked up to the uh, compressor or cooling unit. They did it in a tremendous amount of time, I mean, a short period of time, and we were successful in uh, having it ready for the opening of the season. During the renovations, the Berrymans hired Doug Shedden, former Pittsburgh Penguins player, as head coach of the Ice Skaters. It was then up to Shedden, who had led the Wichita Thunder to two consecutive championships in the Central Hockey League to recruit players and get a team together. Uh, Doug had called me to, uh, during this past summer and told me, and said, so, you know, we're getting a team in Louisiana. And I, you know, I, so the first thing I did was with my wife, and uh, we went down, grabbed a map, and saw where Louisiana was. We weren't really uh, sure where it was. And um, we were excited, you know, I'd rather play hockey in a warmer climate, you know, uh, it gets so cold up, up north. Um, but we didn't know what to expect, they just, uh, just come down and he said there are a great bunch of people around here with, uh, you know, party, parties and festivals every weekend or something else. So uh, it was a lot of fun, but it was, we weren't quite sure what to expect when we got down here. Well, all I thought was, um, I'm going to be going down to swamps and alligators and snakes and actually I wasn't really sure what to expect out of Louisiana. I had talked to Doug Shedden briefly in New Jersey when I was playing roller hockey up there in the summertime, and he was kind of going through, made a stop to, to say hi and see what was going on. And, you know, he explained to me what the situation was. It was a great town, and you know, the people were great. But, you know, coming down to Louisiana, you don't hear much about, about Louisiana up north. The most you hear about is New Orleans and during Mardi Gras. So a few months later, Doug Shedden had a team, and the Cajun Dome was ready. The next challenge was to get the people of Lafayette in the building for a game they didn't know much about. We knew once we could get the people in the building once with what we had planned for our overall game production, that once they came once, we had them. And uh, it was just a question of getting, getting them in the building for that opening night. For a few weeks before the first home game, TV commercials were run on local stations, portraying hockey as a physical and fast game in order to sell tickets. I mean, the bottom line is you got to get fans in here. You had to get them in here. Before you could teach them to enjoy the game, you had to have something to draw them in. The fact that we won helped, but the people did like to see the fights. Uh, the start of the season was a bit like a fairy tale. We spent our first 30 days on the road. We spent our like, first 10 or 11 games on the road. And 